Hey Byron, I just got this Mesa Smart Thermostat for electric baseboard heaters, and I'm hoping you can help me install it. That's why I'm here. Let's do it together. First, let's download the free Mesa app to your iOS or Android compatible smart device. Okay, got it. Okay, next, let's see what's in the box. We've got our beautiful Mesa Smart Thermostat, our welcome booklet, some screws and wire nuts, and an easy to follow wiring diagram. I can already tell this is going to look great in my home. And I'm really impressed with the recyclable packaging. Yeah, it's pretty nice, eh? Yeah. Okay, so I see you have your voltmeter, your wire stripping tool, and your Phillips head screwdriver. That will come in handy later. Now that's a high voltage warning. That's important because we're going to be wiring your MISA into your home's electrical system. If you're uncomfortable with DIY installation or local regulations require a professional, we'll consult a certified electrician. So, are you ready to dive in? I'm ready. First and most importantly, we'll go to your home's electrical panel and disconnect the power to the heater. Now that you've turned the breaker off, test that there's no power to the heater by turning it up and waiting a few minutes to feel for heat. It's picture time. Remove your old thermostat and get a clear close-up picture of your existing wiring setup. This could come in handy later on for reference. In your picture, make sure to show all the wires within the gang box while they are still wired to your existing thermostat. Let's use your voltmeter to quickly confirm that no wires are live. We're going to remove and discard the old wire nuts connecting your old thermostat. New wire nuts are included with MISA. Untwist the existing wire connections and fully remove your old thermostat. Okay, so first we're going to cover the most common scenarios for 240 volt and 120 volt systems. In a 240 volt system, you'll see two black wires and two red wires. The black wire that brings power from the electrical panel will connect your Mises L1 wire. The black wire that goes to your heater will connect your Mises load wire. Connect the two remaining red wires together and then connect them to your Mises L2 wire. That's the red one. Remember, you're using the new wire nuts included with your MISA to safely connect to your wiring. In a 120 volt system, you'll see two black wires and two white wires. The black wire that brings power from the electrical panel will connect your Mises L1 wire. The black wire that goes to your heater will connect your Mises load wire. Connect the two remaining white wires together, then connect them to the Mises neutral wire. Remember, you're using the new wire nuts included with your Mises to safely connect to your wiring. We'll go back to our electrical panel at this point and turn our breaker back on to power up MISA. In either scenario, if your MISA is not powering up, turn the breaker off and try swapping the L1 wire and load wire connections, since your L2 wire connection won't change before turning the breaker back on. If your MISA lights up, but you see an error code like H2 instead of the smiley, check out our video for more info about common error codes and how to resolve them. Remember when we took a picture of your existing wiring setup? Yeah, we can share that photo with Mises' support team if you need extra help. Uh, thanks for the inside track on wiring. I guess we're ready to finish our installation. What's next? Yes, we're nearly there. Let's wrap it up. Go back to the electrical panel and turn off the breaker again. Loosen the screws on the bottom of the faceplate and remove it to access the mounting screw holes. Pro tip, to avoid potentially dropping and losing your set screw, those things are small. Ensure that you don't back your set screw out all the way. Next, we're going to carefully place our wired MISA into the gang box. Start with the wires and be gentle. You don't want to loosen any wire nut connections. Loose connections can lead to problems like error codes. Now we're replacing the faceplate and tightening the set screw. Okay, looks like we're ready to go back to the electrical panel and turn the power back on. If your MISA is wired properly, you'll see the MISA smiley light up. If it's not lighting up, it could mean a wiring error. Once the MISA is up and running, you'll see an arrow pointing down, which means you're ready to start pairing your MISA to your smart device. 
Thanks for your help, Byron. That was pretty easy. No problem. And remember, if you have any questions or need any help, contact me as a support. So stay cozy and happy energy saving.